A warm welcome to MyPF, where we help you to simplify and grow your personal finances. My name is Steve and I'm the founder of MyPF. Today, the world we live in is one where debt just seems to be everywhere. The cost of everything just seems to be going up with inflation. But the only thing that doesn't seem to be going up is our income or salary. What then can we do for our financial education in today's world? Financial education is something that's unfortunately not taught in our schools. So the onus is on us, each one of us as individuals, on how we can actually take steps, invest in ourselves to improve our personal finances. Personal finances is really simple. It's not easy, but simple. All it takes is for an individual, a couple or a family on how you actually allocate the resources that you have in a slow and steady manner over a period of time to achieve the financial goals that are important for you and your family. And the true worth of having personal finances planning in your life is not so much on the monetary value at the end of the day, but what is the value that you get from it? What does it bring for you, your loved ones, and those that you care about? Or as Warren Buffett puts it, someone is sitting in the shade today because he planted a tree a long time ago. What is a personal finances review? A personal finances review is a dynamic and interactive process that involves five key stages that are regularly reviewed. Firstly is the assessment. In this stage, it's basically on the information gathering of the key information on your financials. Secondly is the goal setting, which is the discussion and setting goals to achieve your financial goals. It involves everything on saving, investing, and everything right up to retiring well. Thirdly is the plan creation. This is where we craft a personalized plan that meets your goals in your timeline and how you're going to achieve it. Fourthly, it comes to execution. As always with anything, it requires taking action and it, this needs to be done in a timely manner to execute the plans and goals towards achieving your objectives. Lastly, is the monitoring and reassessment. This is something which is done regularly every six months where we basically look at where you're doing, are you achieving your goals and make adjustments as necessary. A personal finances review consists of seven different modules. Firstly is your balance sheet, which looks at your assets, your liabilities, and the changes in your financial position over time. Secondly is your cash flow statement, which looks at your income stream, your expenses, your financial ratios. Thirdly is your financial needs analysis, which looks at your debts, your liabilities, uh, planning for your children's uh, education, your final expenses, as well as any charity giving or philanthropy that you're looking to have. Fourthly is that risk management, for risk management is to cover your asset and your life risk. Basically, you want to ensure that your risk protection needs are met. You're not overpaying, you're not underpaying or undercovered, and just make sure that it's just nice for your needs. Fifthly is your budget planning, which is actually budgeted out throughout the month and throughout the year. It's crafting a financial plan that fits your budget, your cash flow, and towards achieving the various goals that you're looking to achieve. Sixthly, investment planning. Investment planning is the planning and monitoring of your investment activities and assets over a period of time. It involves diversification, it involves knowing what sort of returns are you expecting and are your investments performing up to expectations. Lastly, it's on retirement planning. Retirement planning is towards ensuring that you retire comfortably, meeting all you and your family's needs. This is done by knowing what is your retirement goal that you need to achieve. How much will you have from your EPF and need savings? How much would you need to save and invest to build up your investment retirement fund? How does inflation and lifestyle changes affect your needs for your retirement? And if that's still too complex, it can actually just be further simplified into four key points. Firstly, you want to save up for your emergencies or your rainy days. Secondly, you want to increase your income. Thirdly, you want to reduce your expenses. And lastly, you want to save the difference. Thank you for being with my PF and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.